Greetings to all of humanity, it's really a joy, it's a pleasure, it's an honor to be sitting right here in this precious place where many of our ancestors used to gather to do what I am doing here and which is to inspire, to uplift, to motivate and to bring value to others. That's the reason why I want to speak about Abdullah, our ancestor, I never got a mentor who taught never got many techniques of how to manifest his every desire. Now as I reach out to you, I wanna speak to you about how never got drafted into the army. And he got drafted into the army when there was a world war going on and he was at a certain age. And having learned these manifestation techniques from Abdullah and knowing that he can use his mind power, Neville, being a good student, didn't want to have anything to do with the army. Now, that experience, I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it in the Bible. Presently, at this moment, I would not be able to tell you the exact scripture, but I'll put it in the description. But it has to do with Peter. And Peter represents faith. And it tells you that Peter was in prison. He was locked up in prison. And an angel delivered him out of prison. So I'm going to show you whereby the Bible says that Peter was delivered out of prison and I'm showing you how Neville delivered himself out of the army because he believed in his creativity as he was taught by our ancestor Abdullah the black mystic from Ethiopia now let us look at Neville's story first okay he said that they put him in the armory division and he, he could not even drive. And that he had absolutely no desire of being there or getting involved in Caesar's war. And he decided to put his creative power to work. He decided to use this wisdom that was taught to him by Abdullah. Because he said that he studied with Abdullah for five years and studied the Kabbalah and studied true Christianity. And I'm teaching you that true Christianity is discovering or finding or receiving salvation, which is self-realization. That's real salvation. That is you coming back to a place of restoration. And he said that he did his imaginal act. And about four o'clock in the morning, a voice, he saw, he saw a hand scratch out where it was written, denied, because he would have applied to the colonel to get out of the army. Because those who are at a certain age, very close to 40, I believe, between 38 to 40, I believe, they were legible to get out of the army because they were of an older age. So he applied and the colonel wrote, denied. And, the, and you see a hand erase that and wrote, approved. And a voice spoke saying that which i have done i have done do nothing now all of this was happening in his own human imagination all of this was happening within all of this was happening in the dream because this life is a dream so he was having a dream in a dream and just to show you that everything that takes place in the physical realm or the three-dimensional world takes place in the four-dimensional force so everything comes from the invisible to the visible. 
So if you could behold it in the invisible, you're going to surely experience it in the visible. Now, it is said that Peter, because it's the same scenario, it is teaching you. It's teaching you there's no such a thing as a prison. There's no such a thing as aristocracy. For the only aristocracy there is the aristocracy of the spirit. For no one has power over you. Not even the prison gates. And prison could mean anything that will put you in a box. So he's showing you Peter, which is, which is faith. Which is a disciple. And what is a disciple? A disciple is a follower. What follow you wherever you go? It is your thought. So when you come, when you have that higher thought that will recognize the Christ, because Peter recognized the Christ and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the Living God, you recognize your higher self. Not even the prison can contain you. No box. They cannot put you in any box. You will not be conformed, but you will be transformed by the renewing of your mind. I said that Peter began to give praises and thanks given within himself. So he's teaching you when you learn to give praises and thanks given that you cannot be trapped. You cannot be imprisoned. You cannot be captured and deny your given power. Because your given power is your God power, your mind power. And you must use that power to achieve your every desire. That's the reason why you're told that you've been given dominion and power. You've been given dominion and power over the elements. So you do not have to be bound by the laws of Caesar. You walk by divine laws, immutable laws. Laws that can never be changed by anyone. For we know the law of reproduction is that every seed and every species will reproduce after its own kind. So whatever mindset you are in, that is the life you'll be able to produce. Because every thought produces an action. So every action actually stems from a thought. And that will shape your personality. Because your personality is linked to your creativity. Your ability. So yes, my brother and my sisters. Use that same power. And break yourself out of every prison. Every concept that has been given to you from the, the, the day of your birth to the time of your awareness and come to realize that all these things that they were a lie and that you have to change your entire thinking and if you change your mind you change your life and nothing will be impossible with you for he said with God all things are possible they say, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to them that believe. Because God in action is you using your mind power to achieve your every desire. Because your body is the house where God resides. That's why it tells you in, in Acts chapter 17 that God don't dwell in temples made of hands so my brother and my sisters do not allow fear to keep you in a box or to keep you in a prison or to keep you to do a job that you don't love for when Neville was in a situation of having a job because being in the army is a job some people call it a career that wasn't what he wanted and he changed his state you too can change your state. Whatever box you might be in, whatever prison you might be in, by those of Caesar lock you in that prison, 
to keep you bum, to keep you dumb, to keep you from not speaking the truth about the higher self. You haven't received the power from on high in the upper room. This is the upper room. And understand the universal language. Don't let anyone keep you in limitation. You can do whatever you put your mind to do. Just as Abdullah taught Neville Gallen, and he was able to free himself out of the army, so too you can free yourself out of Caesar's box, out of Pandora's box, and live the life that you always dream of. A life of happiness, joy, peace, contentment, where you're in union with your higher self, where you're in alignment with your higher self. Because Neville had to follow instructions. He had to have a mentor. And so you too must have a mentor. That is why it is said that faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word. And how can they hear without a teacher, without a preacher, without a witness? He's not speaking about a televangelist. He's not talking about a man who went to a Bible school or a, 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 a cemetery. Oh no, sorry, a seminary. You understand? But he's talking about a true witness. As it is said in St. John chapter 3, we know what we speak about. We know, unless a man be born again, that he cannot see the kingdom of God. We know what it's all about. So you need a mentor. You need a life coach. You need someone to teach you. Because you will have had the experience, not theory, not intellect. Because presently right now, we are in the battle of Armageddon, the battle of ideology. Where intellect is going against experience. So my brother and my sister, you have to know who you're opening your mind to, to listen to. Because there are many, many, many teachers and many, many, many imitators on the internet. So with that being said, my brother and my sisters, I want to also encourage you to support this work on Patreon. And soon I'll be putting stuff on, on my Patreon for you. And stuff that will be just available for those and, 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 and the Patreon also. And I'm doing all of this because I want to teach you the principle of the universe. The universe operates on giving and receiving. The plants give us the oxygen. We receive the oxygen and we give back to the plant the carbon dioxide. Don't you know the golden rule of life is do unto others as you'll have them do unto you? Don't you know that you must give and you're going to come back to you good measure, press down, shaking together, running over, shall men give into your bosom? Learn the law of sowing and reaping. Learn that giving is living. Because my brother and my sisters, you can have as much intellect as possible if you don't learn the, the simplest principles of this truth, of self-realization, then you end up just being an intellectual parent. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, you know, I'm quite grateful and happy to see that we had an ancestor, an elder by the name of Abdullah, who was willing to be Neville Gallat's teacher, and Abdullah didn't see color. Abdullah saw the creative power and how we must use that creative power to achieve our every desire and that is the same motive why I am here bringing this message of self-realization to you and encouraging you that if this message is resonating with you to like subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and to share this message with everyone and do not be afraid to give your opinion and your comment of what this message means to you and how it's been helping you also, I just want to remind you, as usual, that this message I bring to you is the single eye message of self-realization, of which Matthew 6, 22 tells us that if your eye be single, your whole body will be full of light. And I will have had the experience of the single eye and burst my crown chakra and became one with the Creator, knowing that the Creator and I are one, that God is my own human imagination. Therefore, when I put my hand on my crown chakra, 
and give you the symbol of the single eye is to show you that symbols rule the world and that the original language of the Bible was a language of symbology. That's the reason why you must look inwardly to create your reality consciously. For when you have the, this experience, you come to realize that it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N and that it is the dawning of a new day in your life. And you will also come to realize that the sun parallels the human imagination and the human imagination parallels the sun. For without the sun, there is no life and there is no light. And without the human imagination, there is anything made that was made. Therefore, my brothers and my sisters, my encouragement to you is to use your mind power, which is your solar power, your creative power. Do like Abdullah, and you will be able to achieve your every desire. So with that being said, I want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.